here with Georgia State head coach Greg Frady as the Panthers uh, begin a homestand playing eight of the next nine games at home, beginning with Wednesday's game against Georgia Tech. Coach, first of all, uh, just talk about your, your team and the weekend that they're coming off with a sweep at UT Arlington to take over first place in the Sun Belt. Very happy with uh, how our team has played. I think the one thing that comes to mind the most when I'm thinking about how we've gone about our business is uh, how tough the team is and resilient in these decidable moments and their ability to stay calm and make plays. Uh, we have done a really good job in these extra inning games and these one-run games of executing to give ourselves a chance to win. Uh, as every, our fans know, we won the third game against Arlington in a really, really tough game. Runs were so hard to, to come by, and uh, conditions were tough to score in. And uh, Trey Sweeting led off with a double in extra innings. But we were able to bunt him over. David Levy got him bunted over, and then uh, an opportunity came with the runner on third for him to score on a a, a pitch that got away from the catcher. And I think what kind of gets lost in all that is the little things like ability to bunt them over, ability to execute uh, you know, your plays on defense, uh, the ability to turn your double plays when offered, really solid catching that Joey Roach has had, and limiting the other team's offensive opportunities, reducing walks, reducing the freebies. And uh, our pitching's been good. We've played good defense. And as long as we do that, we we're going to give ourselves a chance to win. Obviously, always uh, an exciting game on the schedule uh, to play one of your one of our in-state rivals in uh, Georgia Tech coming to Panthersville on Wednesday. Uh, what can we expect in that matchup? Well, you know, when you, you get involved in your conference schedule and season, there's so much goes into these conference games on the weekend that uh, you almost – there's the focus is not on the midweek – on the weekend. Then you get back home, you take a day off, and you practice, and you get ready for the games, and you realize it's Georgia Tech coming over, and uh, you're excited to play. You know, we only get to play these guys one time, maybe two times a year, and we've already lost a game to rain to them, so it's a one-time shot. Uh, it's important to our players, uh, our fans uh, in the city, the communities, uh, statewide. Uh, people know that. Uh, we know Georgia Tech has a good team. Uh, we had a great weekend. Their weekend didn't go as scripted for them, so they'll be hungry to get their, their ship righted, and we'll be hungry to continue to play good baseball. It should make for a really exciting game. Both teams are uh, offer something that uh, the fans will like, uh, and we'll see how it goes. You know, uh, I, I'm excited to play them. Uh, it's a game that I really do look forward to every year because anytime you're playing Georgia Tech and, and get, put yourself in a position to win, you increase your profile. Talk about, um, obviously, your, your, uh, your quote-unquote big four, uh, Matt Rose, Joey Roach, Ryan Blanton, and Caden Bailey, kind of continue to, to really uh, carry your offense, but you're also getting some contrib like contributions from your freshmen. Well, that's right. And, you know, let's just start. You talked about the, the big guys, and, and they are big guys, but let's start with the freshmen. You know, we're not looking for those guys to be what the, maybe the top of the, the order guys are, but we'd like to see them get on base once or twice a game, uh, situationally hit, uh, execute some bunting, uh, hit a fly ball where needed, hit a ground ball where needed, take a base on balls. They're doing a great job with that. But that's all centered around all of those guys are very good defensive players, and they've done a good job out there in the field. Then the big guys, we need them to drive runs in, uh, bring a presence to the middle of the order, and that all starts with Matt Rose. I mean, Matt Rose is the centerpiece of that group because Caden Bailey gets better pitches to hit and Joey Roach gets better pitches to hit behind him, and both Caden and Joey are outstanding players. Ryan Blanton is the leadoff guy getting on base, and then when you got three, four, five to knock them in, you're always feeling pretty good about that. Matt's not uh, wasn't totally on his game this weekend, coming off of his ankle injury, but what he did for us was provided confidence, uh, a leadership, uh, a fear factor, if you will, in the middle of the order to get better pitches for our guys around him to hit. Caden Bailey's one of the best hitters in program history. Uh, time will spell that out as he sets new records in many different categories. And Joey Roach is one of the most offensive catchers we've had in Georgia State history. Uh, and the start that Ryan Blanton has leading us in hitting, I'd say those four are absolutely doing their job. And uh, I'm just, when we put that lineup out there together and we have those guys at the top, you feel pretty good about scoring some runs.